Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to add Autofac to an ASP.NET Core uh, app. Um, it, this, the version I'm running on at the moment is the is the RC1 that's using the DNX. It hasn't been upgraded to .NET CLI yet, um, just because it doesn't appear that the Autofac packages support that yet. Um, but I think essentially it should be fairly similar to the way um, the new, the new RC2 bits should be fairly similar to the way this is working here. Um, and so essentially, I really like using Autofax. So what I want to do is add it to my project. So I can um, uh, start injecting using Autofax instead of the, the built-in stuff. The, the trick is, though, is that you, you do have to support the built-in the built -in injection uh, once you replace it with Autofax. The good news is that unlike before, um, it's a lot simpler to do now because uh, ASP Net Core is rather more modular um, from the ground up. Um, so pretty much I'm just going to go and install Autofax first. Um, you're going to have to uh, use uh, install also this other package, Autofax Dependency Injections uh, Extensions, um, which Hopefully that would bring in Autofac itself, um, but uh, I'll just install Autofac. Latest RC, um, the, the earlier one, uh, the three, whatever version is the latest, 3.5.2, um, when I looked in the project JSON, instead of putting dependency there, it actually put it on the, D, uh, the DNX 4.5.1, um, which we didn't really want. Um, so now it's actually set it up as a proper uh, NuGet based dependency um, with that latest RC build. Um, and actually adding in Autofax is really quite simple. Uh, all we have to do is, is go in and change the return type of configure services in startup.cs. Um, and then under here, we just want to create a new container builder, uh, just like normal container builder and then we call a new thing that's dot populate which is which is the extension method from the new get package uh, the second you get package we just added which was um the, the autofact extensions new get uh so dependency injection um and what this does is it sort of takes all of the stuff off the um the services there and adds it to autofact because obviously once we're resolving with autofact we need to be able to grab all the you know the other um, services that have been added, like the, the MVC things and everything. Um, and then, yeah, we just go container build, just like normal. Uh, and just return the container resolve, um, the, the actual my service provider that we just added using the populate. So that's pretty much it. Um, so I'll just verify that's actually going to build, just making sure I haven't made any mistakes, no errors. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a sort of like a little test scenario for that. Like, so we're just going to create a little fake model here with a um, class that's going to be just a basic little thing to To return a string, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually extract the interface from that, and uh, then register that with Autofact, just to, to demonstrate you know the proper way to do that. And then in here with the build, I'm just going to go register type, uh, what, what I call it, some model, um, oops, type parameter as I some model. Okay, so in theory, now that that's done, we should be able to actually start injecting into our controllers those things. So create a um, too high, oops, create a constructor for the values controller here, pass in I some model, um, and then hopefully we should be able to return instead of value one, we should be able to do some model dot get some string. Um, when we run it, with any luck, it will show that, oops, there it is. This is some string. So we can demonstrate that the that the um, 
injection has indeed worked. And just to double triple check it, let's just put a breakpoint there, refresh this this guy again. You can see some model has come in, um, and it's looking it's looking like the right type there. So uh, good, nice and simple. I like, I really like the simplicity now of adding that. In the past, um, you you had to do quite a fair bit of work. Uh, just to get it working with ASP.NET and then even more work to get it going again on top of it um, with, uh, with, with MVC and then even more again when you wanted to start using some more advanced features, for example, um, uh, using uh, JSON middleware and things like that. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, it seems to be moving in the right direction.